there welcome to a new video from Techosa Every time you turn on the switch the light or fan or any appliance connected to the switch turn on except when there is a power cut So what makes this thing turn on That's right electricity These days we cannot even think of living without electricity But have you ever wondered how this electricity is made and how it reaches your home In this video you will learn the generation and transmission of electric current. In nature we cannot find electricity in a form that we can use. If you are thinking about lightning, understand that we cannot simply use lightning to power our homes. It's just too powerful. So let me repeat my question. Where did this electricity comes from? Some of you might be thinking about dams probably because you have heard thousands of news regarding dams and electricity. Yes, dam is a source of electricity, but is it the only source of electricity? Not really. The most common electricity generating units are hydroelectric power plants, nuclear power plants, wind power plants, geothermal power plants, solar power plants, coal, gas and oil power plants. Out of this, hydroelectric power plants to solar power plants are renewable sources, which means that they are in unlimited supply. Also, they do not cause much pollution to the environment. Coal, gas and oil power plants, however, are non-renewable sources, which means that they are in very limited supply. Also, they cause load of pollution while being used coal natural gas and oil are collectively called fossil fuels the sad news is that even now more than 80% of the total energy in the world comes from fossil fuels this is very bad for the environment as it causes global warming and also depletion of our natural resources let's just hope that we start using more renewable energy sources and save our planets from many disasters with that said let's look at the different sources of electricity the electric supply system can be divided into three main steps so that it will be easy for you to understand and they are generation of electricity transmission of electricity and distribution of electricity Electric power is generated at various kind of power plants which are located at favorable places generally quite away from the consumers. It is then transmitted over a large distance to the load center with the help of a conductor called transmission lines. You have already heard the names of different type of power plants. Now let's look at each of them individually. Hydroelectric power plants are those that produce electric current by using water that propel turbines. Hence they are called hydroelectric. These power stations generate about 16% of all the electricity used in the world. They are renewable and reliable source of energy. However, certain factors have to be taken into consideration for the construction of hydroelectric power plants. They are presence of waterfall to provide a massive hydraulic force presence of deep valley to provide space for reservoirs or dam presence of large volume of water from a river to provide water to drive the turbines constant supply of water to ensure continuous generation of power water from a river is stored in a large reservoir or dam This stagnant water has huge potential energy stored inside it. It is then made to fall on large turbines. The falling water has immense kinetic energy and it rotates the blades of the turbine. The turbine in turn rotates the generator which produces electricity. In hydroelectric power plants, the potential energy of water is converted to kinetic energy of water. which is then converted to mechanical energy in turbines and is converted into electrical energy in generators nuclear energy is energy in the nucleus of an atom atoms are tiny particles that makes up every object in the universe there is enormous energy in the bonds that holds the atom together nuclear energy can be used to make electricity but first the energy must be released In nuclear plants atoms are split to produce massive amount of heat energy. This heat energy is used to boil water which produces steam. 
The steam then drives turbines, which in turn drive generators that produce electricity. Although nuclear energy itself is a renewable energy source, the materials used in nuclear power plants is not. Uranium is a non-renewable resource. Wind turbine rotates on a simple principle that wind energy turns two or three propeller-like blades around the rotor. The rotor is connected to the main shaft which spins a generator to create electricity. As we learned in our previous video about the working of helicopters, a wind turbine turns wind energy into electricity using the aerodynamic force from the rotor blade, which works like an airplane wing or helicopter rotor blade. Geothermal power is power that is generated by geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is thermal energy generated and stored in earth. At the geothermal power plant, wells are drilled one or two miles deep into the earth where water gets heated naturally and pumps steam or hot water to the surface. The steam spins the turbine which is connected to the generator that produces electricity. The steam cools off in a cooling tower and condenses back to water. Solar power plants There are two types of solar power plants, one which uses the solar panel and other which uses the heat from the sun. In the first kind, a large number of solar panels are arranged on a huge plot of land. These panels have photovoltaic cells that convert the light energy into electrical energy. In the other kind, sunlight is connected and concentrated to produce high temperature heat needed to boil water. The steam is converted into mechanical energy in a turbine which powers the generator to produce electricity. Coal, gas and oil power plant or thermal power plants. Thermal power plants use as heat energy by burning fossil fuels to boil water into steam. The steam is used to rotate turbines which is connected to a generator to produce electricity. The chemical energy stored in fossil fuel is converted to heat energy while burning it and is then converted to mechanical energy in the turbine which is then converted to electrical energy in the generator. Fossil fuels includes LNG, coal and diesel which are all non-renewable energy sources. Now you got an idea of how electricity is generated. But how is it transmitted to the switchboards of our home? Electric transmission is a vital link between power production and power usage. Transmission line carries electricity at high voltage over long distance from power plants to communities. Distribution Electricity from the transmission line is reduced to lower voltage at substations. And the distribution companies bring the power to your home and workplace. Now let's have a closer look to the system. Electricity generated from the power plant goes to a step-up transformer. Step-up transformer is a large device that increases the voltage and decreases the current. This is done to prevent heat loss during transmission through longer distance. Higher current means that lesser heat will be generated while transmission through the wires. From the transmission line, the electricity reaches the substation where the voltage is reduced using a step-down transformer. A step-down transformer is used to reduce voltage. As voltage decreases, current increases. The voltage is reduced in two stages, 11 kV for the distribution system that reaches our home and 33 or 66 kV for large-scale industries. From there, it goes to the distribution system. The distribution system is a part of power system that distributes electric power to local use. The distribution system distributes 11 kV electricity to all transformers that are near our home. From the transformer, the electricity is again stepped down to 415 volt. This is the electricity that reaches our home. But here also there are two types, three phase connection and single phase connection. Some houses will have higher electricity demand than other houses because of the use of multiple appliances. Those houses will be given three-phase connection of 415 volt. Houses with lesser demand of electricity will be given single-phase connection. Small industries and small shops also use three-phase connection. Okay, so let's summarize everything that we have learned. First, electricity is generated by power plants from renewable or non-renewable sources of energy. 
Then a transformer is used to increase the voltage for transmission. Voltage is increased to reduce power loss during transmission through very large distance. The transmission line carries the electricity through long distance. A nearby substation reduces the voltage for AC distribution. There are two types of step-downs, one for industries and one to the transformer near our homes. The electricity is further stepped down in the transformer near our home and it reaches us through transmission poles and distribution lines. So that's everything you need to know about power generation, transmission and distribution. Hope you enjoyed the video. If did, hit the like button. As always, comment what you feel about the video. So see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye.